Are you ready to stand up and make a declaration to God? Welcome to the Daily Devo. I am Vince Miller. This week, we're going to be reading through 1 Samuel chapter 7. I've titled this chapter, Stand Up and Make a Declaration. So I was reading through this chapter earlier today, and for me, it underscores the importance of personal commitments that are made publicly to God, personal commitments that are declared publicly to God. I want to back up just for a second to the early 1800s. At this time, there was a preacher named Charles Finney who revolutionized the way that we publicly declare our faith with what he dubbed the altar call. This altar call, which is absent from a lot of churches today, was an invitation to step forward in a church service and proclaim your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Essentially, you get your butt out of the seat at the end of a service, you would walk forward to receive Jesus, and on this other side, there would be a pastor to pray with you and greet you. And influential figures that you know, like Billy Graham and ministries like Promise Keepers, adopted this as a practice in their ministry. So as you read 1 Samuel chapter 7, it's going to feel and read like a great altar call. It's an altar call actually given by Samuel, the prophet and judge, to the entire nation of Israel. But it's a monumental day in their history, a day of repentance, a call to repentance. And it's got all kinds of uh, interesting details and occurrences that I'm just going to let naturally unfold for you as we read the text. But at the conclusion of the day, Samuel sets up a monument, a giant monument. They stand up a stone to commemorate and remember the commitments that they have made publicly to God, which leads to our key verse of this chapter, which happens to be 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. Some of you know this verse. Here it is. It reads, Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mitzvah and Shen and called its name Ebenezer. For he said, Till now the Lord has helped us. So, Many of you know this verse because it was popularized by a well-known old hymn, Come Thou Fount. And one of the verses sings, Here I raise my Ebenezer, hither by thy help I've come. And that is the only time you're ever going to hear me sing in one of these devos. But this moment in the song, it recalls this moment in chapter 7 in Israel's history. It's a song that calls us to reflect on a great day of repentance in Israel's history. And fellas, all believers need moments like this. We need standing stone moments to remind us. And there's nothing special about the stones or the markers or the monuments All they're meant to do is remind us of the commitments and the covenants that we have personally and publicly made with God. So today, I want you to look back on some of those moments when you stood up a stone in your relationship with God. Reflect on two questions as you do. Here they are. Here they go. Listen carefully. Where were you when you stood up a stone in your relationship with God? And number two, What change did you commit to make to God? And then here's what I want you to do next. Share them in the comments below this video today. Do that for me. And let's celebrate all those Ebenezers that we have stood up in our lives because sometimes we need to be reminded of those commitments, don't we? And if you're out there today, and you're ready to make a first-time declaration to God and stand up a very first stone or Ebenezer, you can take the moment right now to do that as well. Stand up a brand new stone. Guys, I love you. I pray these recollections will draw your mind back to some powerful commitments and moments that you've made. I'm excited to hear yours as you hear mine. And with that, I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.